when you heard, I'm going to give a couple examples and they're going to be dated, but Oprah Winfrey, uh, Dr. Oz, like all these things. And you see here, super, it's like you hear like, like spinach and all that stuff. I feel like growing up and hearing that people would, you know, have a stigma on what superfoods are and i feel like it created a stigma when they tied it to like you know dr oz and oprah and stuff like that what are some i guess key points you use to try to not get associated with like you know like making it seem like it's it's a cure you know what i mean like when people see those those shows like dr up like you know like the ones that your your grandma who has you know like watching tv during the day type vibes like buys you know like 10 pounds of spinach because she heard it's the superfood and she eats it and she says oh man i feel amazing you know what i mean like she sure. feels amazing how do you how do you not how do you dissociate from that but still get the same um impact is that it's, yeah yeah i know what you mean because the word superfood has been diluted, I think, from what I, you know, when I was a teenager, first started learning about it. And it it wasn't in the popular vernacular at the time in, in the way that it kind of has become now through marketing and advertising. And to me, it the original meaning of it was a food that brings together both highly concentrated nutrition and medicinal properties to it. And so it's not just about the minerals, it's not just about the the macronutrients, but also like we were talking about with cacao, that it has these things like phenethylamine and anandamide that really have amazing connections to your neurochemistry. Then that word got really popularized and was being used on just about everything. Any plant food, basically, you could walk down the aisle at Whole Foods and see it being touted as a superfood. And it's unfortunate because if people think, as you said, spinach is a superfood, and then they see somebody, maybe me talking about something like bee pollen or aloe vera or spirulina or cacao as a superfood. They think those are on equal level. And if they buy the one that's most easily available to them, spinach, use it, maybe don't get life-changing results from it to say the least. And maybe they have a, a tendency to be more of a kidney stone former and all the oxalates found in spinach put them actually maybe in a worse place, forming kidney stones. Then they say, oh, superfoods are a joke. This is absurd. I tried superfoods, this box of superfoods, and it made me worse. Anytime anything else is called a superfood, I'm not going to try that now, which is unfortunate because there's so much potential in some of these true, what I would consider elite superfoods. And there's maybe less than a couple dozen of them in the entire world that I would classify as such, and maybe 10 like real elite ones. It's unfortunate that that the term has become diluted in that way. And it it is what it is. I I, I kind of avoid using that term too frequently now, but sometimes I, I still fall back into it because it was such a meaningful concept for me as I was getting into this world. Yeah, no, that makes complete sense because you're you're pulling from not just what you know, but what other people identify too. So, I mean, it, it makes complete sense. It's just, you know, uh, unfortunate that it's, 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 it's gained some neck, not negative baggage, but, uh, maybe not positive baggage. I don't know. Uh, I, I was just thinking that just because I feel like it's heard a lot of, um, good progress for certain foods. And just sure. like that example I gave, I feel like that happens a lot more than it should, but it's, it's all about education and, uh, getting the right knowledge out there, at least from what I've seen. Right. Um, absolutely. And, and, and just following through with people on the actual education on what the realistic benefits are backing it up with studies. You know, I, I, I love making educational videos on our YouTube channel and, I spend pretty much just as much time working on that as the, the actual business itself. And with with this, I, I love being able to support it with studies and explain these studies in a way that is understandable to people so they can see the legitimate from the, the questionable and exaggerated. Oh, that's great.